Well, I'm playing some more with Sim Update 10, and currently I am flying without using the Open NIS Scalar Toolkit, which unfortunately means I can't demonstrate any sort of a frame rate. All I can do is go by my own sensation as I'm flying around based on all the hours and hours that I've spent flying in the sim and just having an idea and so far I really gotta say it's looking a whole lot nicer the sim is definitely smoother I haven't quite gotten the ideal settings with frame rates and everything else but I'm trying to just let the the update itself do the work as opposed to jumping into all the other different areas where changes can be made to resolutions and quality and so forth. Like the NVIDIA control panel, the Steam VR settings, the virtual desktop settings, the modification you make can make in the Quest headset with the side quest. So all of those are as they have been and as I demonstrated in my most recent settings video. I really haven't changed well let me just back that up. I've increased a couple of settings since the NVIDIA DLSS. Like right now, the buildings are on ultra, trees are on high, clouds are on medium, the main texture is on high. And it just it seems to be very, very smooth so far. Well, I need to shut off my... Um, yeah, so I have another video up as well with a little bit more intensive look at everything. I fly three or four different aircraft in three or four different locations. I look at the new settings that are available to us now in the VR menu. Well, and not just the VR, obviously. But for me, that's where I fly, and that's where I'm looking at seeing the increased performance. And it is definitely increased performance and increased quality, I would have to say, at this point. Still no crashes. I haven't had any issues other than, like I mentioned in the first video on the sim update, if I go in and I make a whole lot of changes to the NVIDIA DLSS options, a couple of times the frame rates dropped down to like 16 from 40, and they stayed there until I actually got out of the flight and went back in. So it seems if you play with the settings a lot, you might, you might run into issues. But overall, I think it's... Uh, definite improvement so far. Again, this is a beta release, which means there could be big issues with it down the road or even just tomorrow when I fly again. Um, you know, the, the update was 12 and a half gig, approximately 12 and a half. And so the download, the install wasn't bad. I always empty out my community folder completely before I do any sort of sim update. So I'm getting down within 20 to 10 feet here of the water surface, and I'm not seeing any sort of distortion or stuttering or skipping. Now you may see some in the recording, but as I'm flying this, I'm watching out of the corner of my eye here on the left and in front of me. And it, it's going by at a pretty smooth pace, considering the settings that I have enabled right now. So I don't have the loom on, but it's still got a pretty nice effect around the sun and blow in the clouds. So 
definitely putting it through some paces here down here in the Virgin Islands, St. Thomas and St. Croix and St. Catholic Alright, well, we're approaching now here at another island. And, uh, I, I mean, I, I see a little skip here and there once in a while. Not a skip, but uh, I don't know how to describe it. You know, just a little stutter, I guess. Is the best way. Not really the prescribed method of flying the TBM, but it can handle it. Uh, get it around and push it through the paces while we got the Sim Update 10 running here. I'm going to take some tweaking to get all the best settings. Stall. Now that we yet once again have a modifier to our graphics and performance in the Microsoft Flight Sim world. So this is definitely an improvement for VR. The virtual reality flyers I think will be very happy with this, especially if it's just in beta and it gets better for the actual release, which I think is scheduled for the end of August now. Yeah, I mean, a little bit of stuttering, but I'm kind of pushing it, you know, I'm flying this fast here, almost 200, this low to the ground. And, you know, there's an airport here. Oh, sun's almost down all the way. Huh? Landing gear. Landing gear. Yeah, the Landing night lighting gear. looks Landing pretty gear. good. The sky Landing colors, gear. I think, have been Landing improved. Gear. You know, when I was flying in the mountains in the other video, the the blue definitely looked better. Let's see if we can get down to 10. We're at 170 here. Oh, no. Yeah, here we go. 10. So 10, foot, 10 feet off the surface of the water, moving at about 100. I like it. Went pretty smooth, looked Landing pretty good. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Yeah, so the airplane. Landing gear. Is the airport tower. I have no idea what airport this is. I'm just gonna put it down. And I'm not even gonna put it down in a safe method. So don't try this at home, kids.
looks good and smooth though. I mean, the lights look really nice. They're lit up all the way down. They're not kind of like slowly filling in and they all seem pretty sharp. The buildings around look pretty good. I think I'm going to be very happy with Sim Update 10 if this is any indication of how well the final release is going to be. I think I will be very happy. Yeah, not a uh, not an improved method of, of landing, but we got it down. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Sim Update 10 still trying her out, beta version. And so far, it's really looking really awesome. So I'll keep testing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the skies.